Hey there guys, it's Ivana here. And when I say I'm not a hat person, now you can see why. But I am sacrificing vanity for comfort because this Midwestern winter has been a real biatch. And I don't mean bit beach. Oops, I almost said the real word. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for watching my diet and lifestyle videos about my keto journey. Thank you so much. I have more coming. I know I need to get some bag videos out there too because that's what you guys originally were here for and I have to respect that. Some of you guys have said you miss my walking videos. So I thought I would come out here and do one. Today it happens to be in the 40s it's gonna maybe reach 50 and yes I'm dressed like an Eskimo but I don't like to be cold so I just made sure to bundle up it's a beautiful sunny day right now but we're supposed to get rain in about an hour so we'll see how that goes this has been the dreariest winter that I can remember in a long time it's just been gloomy foggy dreary rainy Personally, I would rather have snow, but that's coming from a person who works from home and doesn't have to be out on the roads all the time. So maybe it's a little selfish of me, but I love the snow. It's so pretty. And I feel pretty dumb right now because I think that everyone can see me because I'm walking in the common area. The walking path that goes through our neighborhood backs up to everyone's backyard. So they could probably see me filming myself. I have to get more comfortable with being out and about doing this. Not everybody understands a YouTuber or a video creator's life. Anyway, let's get on with this. So I've been doing this Ketovore challenge. And while, oh, there's a hill. While it's been my sort of way of eating, generally, for the last two years-ish, it hasn't been as strict. I mean, this is stricter than what I'm used to. So there has been a little bit of a learning curve, but not much. I have to say I've been doing really well. My biggest victory has been eliminating alcohol. And it really hasn't been that hard because I haven't gone to many social events, only one and I was good. Um, next month in February, we're supposed to elevate this to the beef, butter, bacon, and eggs challenge or the triple B and E where that just means beef, pork, because it includes bacon, pork belly, which is basically uncured bacon or it's just pork, not smoked. Eggs and butter. I flip flop that a little bit, but you know what I mean. And you have to limit the seasonings. So basically only salt, uh, good quality salt, like Redmond's real salt, which is the one I use. And no sweeteners, even natural sweeteners like stevia. So, Basically, you can do unflavored raw electrolytes, but I'm still really kind of hooked on the flavored electrolytes from Element. They're my favorite. And so that is something I'm going to have to really work on cutting out. I'm not worried about the food at all, not at all, because I love beef and I love bacon and I love butter and I love eggs. So I think I can do that with no problem. My last crutch and sweet treat that I've been holding on to are the flavored element electrolytes. So that is going to be a huge challenge for me. And I'm working on that now by 
cutting back on the use of them, I'm mixing half flavored and half unflavored in my water so that it's less sweet. And I'm gonna keep going down to less and less and less sweet. That is one good way to cut things out of your diet. But I just feel like every little bit of joy will be cut out. <laughs> I know, it probably won't even be that bad. And it is really supposed to help reset your gut and reset everything because it's an ultimate elimination diet. And it is said that once you reset your gut bacteria to not having any sweet flavors or any sweetness, that you just don't crave the sweet anymore. And I really need to see what that's like because I don't know what that's like. I, I just love my sweet. I love it. The cravings have been getting less and less, so I'm grateful for that. But I just still enjoy it. Um, even though stevia is no carb and it's natural, it's not always the best thing for your gut. I just watched a video this morning. I can link that in the description box if anybody's interested, but yeah, there still is a link to insulin with stevia and non-caloric zero-carb sweeteners. So, I know it's not the best thing for me, but I have to try it. And if I'm going to do this challenge in February, I need to figure that out. Also, we have another event. We do a Valentine's Day kitchen crawl in our neighborhood and that involves a lot of food, snacks, drinks, alcohol. And I'm gonna go, but it's gonna be very hard for me. The snack part and the drinking part. Now, if I don't have any alcohol, the snack part will be a little easier because I don't get the cravings for sweets as much when I'm not drinking any alcohol. Let me just say this, I don't have a problem abstaining from alcohol, um, never been an alcoholic, but it is a social event and activity that me and my family and friends just always did. So it's something that I don't know how to do without including that. And so learning how to not do that is a huge, huge step for me. I'm an introvert, so I do have a bit of social anxiety, and alcohol usually is just the thing I need to help open me up and make things a little easier and more fun. And so that's that issue. Well, I don't know if I have more to talk about today. I'm enjoying this walk. It's beautiful and sunny. I'm and I'm not freezing to death and I don't have to go to the gym today. On the days that I'm able to go outside and go for a walk when the weather is nice, I can skip the gym. I feel okay about skipping the gym. On days when the weather is inclement and I can't really get outside, I try to go to the gym and at least walk on the treadmill for an hour and do some other weights but at least the treadmill. So today I can just relax and work on some other stuff. I have some videos to edit, a video to post, and I probably should film some bag videos because I do have some bags that I can show you that I never made a video on that I got last year. I'm doing great on my no buy. I know it's only January, let's face it, but the longer I go, the less of a habit it is, and it just gets easier from there. YouTube is such an enabler, because every time I think about a bag, oh, I think I like that bag, I see a video on it, and then it makes me want to buy it, and I've gone to the websites and looked at it, and then I tell myself, no a challenge for yourself and you have to stick to it. You can't break this challenge the first month. And there are some accessories that I'm going to I'm thinking accessories. I don't know if I mentioned
mention including accessories. But I think it would be overall a legal challenge if I did, but technically I probably don't have to. And then one of my friends said, let Rob buy it for you. He's not on a no-buy. <laughs> well, that would work if that were true, but Rob's on a no-buy all year long anyway, so <laughs> maybe that would be a technicality I could fall back on, but he's not going to do that for me. And I even told him about the snow buy. And so I can't let him down. I don't know. <sighs> I'm up the hill. Woo. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me on my walk. And I hope you guys have nice weather where you are today. And I hope you're having a great day and a great week. It's almost over. So thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Just rather move it along